Hello to you and welcome back. My name is Jason and welcome to Better Today, a place where young leaders like you come for work-life motivation and inspiration. Work from home and working remotely is the trend right now. This has opened up so many opportunities for people to work for any company, even those that are outside of your home countries or even in different time zones. Working remotely, that's not the difficult part, in my opinion. It's the sudden shift in time zones that could be really hard to get used to. In today's video, I want to share with you how I have adjusted to working across different time zones. Four months ago, I shifted careers. After nearly 10 years, I moved from the advertising agency side into the client side. It's been good so far. The thing is, virtually my entire team is in the UK and I'm in Manila. So that puts me eight hours ahead of everyone else. This means that I officially work semi-vampire hours. The transition has been challenging, but after four months, I can more or less say that I've settled into a routine and I've gotten used to it. I've reached a point where I no longer mind the huge time zone difference. By the way, please do me a favor and like this video and hit subscribe. It helps other people like you get more of this content. Here is my night shift survival guide in five points. Number one is to learn to sleep in. In my current schedule, I'm at work until about 1 to 2 a.m. Then I usually spend about an hour or two on personal business, chores, or even grabbing a light meal. As much as I want to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, this means I'm going to get less than five hours of sleep every night. And I did not leave the advertising agency life to get less than five hours of sleep again. To survive the mid or night shift, you need to set your alarm settings for later, pull down the blinds, and prepare to exchange breakfast for lunch. That's the best way to ensure you're getting at least seven hours of rest every day. Number two, master the tactical nap. By the time 10 p.m. hits, it's normal to get a bit sleepy. The thing is, this is not great for mid or night shift workers because plenty of important end of day calls happen at around this time and they can last until after midnight. To survive this sleepy period, I've learned to take naps during two very specific 30 minute time slot right before my workday starts and during the lunch break of my European or US based colleagues. Power naps are super refreshing and you are more likely to avoid yawning during these late night calls. Number three is to time your coffee intake. If you're a coffee drinker, that means two things. You're my people and I already like you and you need to be super smart about the timing of your caffeine. Take your coffee too early and you're probably going to crash at around 9 to 10 p.m. Take your coffee too late and you might not be able to sleep until the sun goes up. Both scenarios suck for people who work the mid or night shift. Trust me, you're the best person to know when your coffee will hit and how long the caffeine high will last. So use that knowledge to time your coffee drinks. For me, my first coffee is usually about an hour before my tactical afternoon nap, then two to four cups throughout the night until about 9 p.m. That's the pacing and timing that works for me. Don't judge me on how much coffee I take, it's a lot. Number four is to remove all screens after work. It's important to ensure that your eyes and your brain gets prepped to sleep as soon as your work day, or in this case, your work night, ends. My simple but super effective strategy is to leave my phone and my Kindle outside of the bedroom every single night. This prevents me from doom scrolling on social media or reading one more page before bed. I've been doing this for about two months now and it amazes me at how fast I sleep now that I no longer have screens on my bedside table. Number five is to automate your morning errands. Your mornings are pretty much non-existent if you live the mid and night shift life. And this can be hard because the rest of the world operates during your time zone's morning because they're more productive and they're more active 
during this time. What I've done is I've started automating as much as I can during the mornings. These include activities like bank transfers or bank payments, sending emails to my students, and even delivery schedules. What this means is that some parts of your life are moving along while you're asleep. And you can always catch up on updates and replies when you get up around noon or early afternoon. If you also work nights and you have tips and tricks that work for you, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you love it. I'm Jason, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.